everyone welcome to the dolly sewing room i'm working on another fun dolly collaboration this one is hosted again by dolls rescued marna over at dolls rescued came up with this brilliant idea to do a burlap blythe fashion show or a blythe burlap fashion show however you want to uh, rearrange those words but the idea is that a group of us are using burlap <laughs> yikes to make some cute dolly fashions because she always jokes about how cute these dolls are that they could wear anything even a burlap bag and so she came up with this idea and there are five of us included in this challenge that includes of course marna at dolls rescued myself over here at peace craft love dolls beth ramston's channel j dolls uk and creative 404. so we need some help from our viewers First of all, I need you to watch my video until the end. I'm going to show you my process a little bit like I typically do, but at the end of this video, I'm going to actually have a fashion show where I'm going to show you um, the dolls wearing the outfits that I make with the burlap. So you're going to need to watch the whole thing, and then um, in the comments below, tell me what you think of the various outfits that I'm going to include in the fashion show. Once you do that, I need you to go over and watch the other videos. Uh, that would be the four other people participating in this collab. And uh, comment again on theirs. And tell us, when you're commenting, we need you guys to vote for the best of the five. So you can go vote over on their channel and say, I vote you as the number one. Or you can come back to my channel and say, I vote you for the number one. But I'm interested in your feedback on the fashions that I create, but also we're asking you guys to vote and pick one winner out of the five. So yeah, you have a, you have a lot to do, guys. <laughs> All right, so on to my creative process, which I'm sharing with you here. Um, you can see I have a different sort of fabrics out here, and that's because um, I was kind of not sure what to do with burlap. <laughs> and burlap is a little tricky. You can see here's a piece that's already starting to come apart. Um, and this is an end piece. I like this piece because it's got the, it's kind of got fringe already, but you can easily make fringe by pulling off these little pieces. And now if I zigzag, I can make this stop, um, unraveling here. But anyway, as it's kind of tricky to work with, it's, it's, you know, it's flexible, but it's pretty thick and you can see, you know, through it a little bit, but I was watching the Disney movie Manoa the other day and it occurred to me that they have quite a bit of like similar looking woven fabric uh, that the characters integrate with their costumes and stuff so yeah so that's the inspiration I'm not trying to copy any of the outfits that the character wears or any of the other characters wear it's just kind of a jumping off point as far as you know colors and and uh, themes a little bit so I went into my stash and I found this really cute uh, fabric that kind of reminded me it has this sort of um, you know pattern and then these flowers of course they reminded me too just to reiterate this is not a tutorial by any means I'm just uh, sharing my creative process with you and at the end of this I'm going to show you a fun little burlap life fashion show so just a note about where I got this burlap, it's actually a table runner that I purchased off of Amazon for about $10. And um, yeah, I'm not using it as a table runner, actually. You can see I'm just going to use it like regular fabric and cut out some uh, patterns. So yeah, I've got the, the new dolly here. I've gotten her recently and I'm just, she's helping me um, sort of model a little bit here. So this piece, I think, is going to work for a skirt. I might shorten it. It's kind of too long. But you can see I kind of just, I can wrap it around her. Whoop. I can wrap it around her and make like a skirt kind of thing. So that's what I'm thinking of um, to start off with. And um, I'm going to make a top using this. Normally I make two of these and then I stitch them together and turn them inside out but instead I think I'm just gonna make one and just stitch it onto the other piece of burlap to so this would be the top and this would be the skirt so let's see how that goes so one issue with burlap is that it's so blah as far as colors go so I think I'm gonna try to do some contrasting stitching on it and see how that goes
In fact, I have some decorative stitching that I have never done before, so I'm going to try to, you know, get out my book here. I've got my manual, and um, I'm going to try some of these and see about, yeah, adding them to the burlap, see what happens with that. All right, so I'm going to try um, one of these fancy stitches here. Let's see what it looks like. This is just a test run. Let us see. Oh. All right. Lots of possibilities there. I like it. It's a little off centered. I was just messing around. Yeah. Very, very cool looking. Neato. I learned something new on my sewing machine. All right. I think I have enough here. I trimmed off some of this so I have a rectangle. And let's see. It's a little, it's almost nine. It's like eight and a half. By, I would say that's like three or four, yeah, four and a half. So I'm thinking I'm going to make this, just make this a simple elastic waist skirt and it's gonna go underneath uh, the burlap skirt part of the dress. So it's gonna sneak, so you're gonna kind of see it through the burlap but also underneath it at the bottom, under the fringy part. All right, I have my first skirt made to go with the first dress that I'm working on. I think it turned out pretty cute. This is going to be an underskirt, like I said, and on top of it, I'm going to make another skirt and I'm going to make a top using this little pattern. So the top will be burlap, then there'll be an overskirt of burlap, and then this underskirt, which is just cotton. And I'm going to decorate the top skirt with some decorative pattern similar to this. And uh, yeah, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to actually show the finished dresses and my dolls will be modeling them for you. So here's the next little skirt. And I figured since I'm making all the skirts, go ahead and do them. I'm shooting, I've decided to make two outfits. If I have time, I'll make a third, but honestly, I am, I'm sort of running out of time. I was out of town for a while, so I'm trying to catch up on all my YouTube watching and collabs and stuff. But um, for sure, I've got two in the works. So I'm almost done with the first one. This is going to be the second outfit. And yeah, here's the cute little skirt. So now I'm going to make the overskirt and um, some kind of a top, maybe like a, like a bandeau style. I don't know if they call it. It's like a tube type top similar to what uh, Moana has. So I might do that for the second one. The first one I did, I used this. But for the second one, I'm thinking of maybe doing more like a like I said, like a tube top sort of look, or I don't know what they call those. It's just straight with no sleeves. So anyway, this skirt turned out really cute. I need to make more of these. So yeah, I'm well on my way to the second outfit. Almost have the first one done too. So. All right, I'm going to do a full on fashion show at the end, but I wanted to go ahead and give you sort of a close up and describe the outfit, each outfit. Um, this is the first one that I made. And like I said, I used the uh, pattern top from a Dolly Delicacies pattern that I've made a ton on this channel. Um, I made an overskirt and I did some uh, top stitching pattern using my sewing machine on the overskirt. And then the underskirt is a little uh, elastic waist skirt that I put underneath it. This is some faux um, coral beads that I made a little necklace with. And she has some, some earrings. This uh, is a stock doll named Paradise Girl, so I thought she would be a good doll to use for this uh, challenge to model. Um, this little flower is from uh, Nania. She's an American Girl doll that I have, and um, Paradise Girl is borrowing it from her. Um, and these are just some little, like I said, these are some little earrings I made that I thought would look good with this outfit. And um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty cute. It, it does fit in with the. Um, Moana aesthetic that I was going for and uh, oh fix your hair girl and uh, yeah you'll be seeing her in the fashion show we're gonna do some photo photographs and turn on some music get some tunes going and she will be 
um, modeling this along with another doll that I'm going to show you next. So this is still an unnamed doll, but I don't know, maybe I should call her Moana. She kind of has that look. I mean, her hair is quite a bit shorter, but anyway, so she's got the second outfit I put together. Again, I did a little um, simple elastic skirt. This is sort of a bandeau type style wrap top. I also did some um, top stitching work here, and then I just tied a little belt around here with a scrap of the fabric from the other doll skirt. And she's wearing some little butterfly earrings. These are actually made for my sister. Um, I purchased them from her Tapping Flamingo Bling Etsy shop, and I thought they looked cute on her. And then I have this little, um, this is Del Sol. This changes color in the light when you're in the sunlight, and it's a nice little hair ornament for her. So, yeah, turned out very, very cute. All right, let's get to the fashion show. Okay, this was a lot of fun. I wish I had more time because as I started to make these, I thought of even more ideas. But I have to wrap this up at some point. So yeah, you guys, as I said in the beginning of the video, please make sure you head over and watch the other four videos that are part of this series that we're doing together. And um, yeah, vote on the best channel. And also let me know which of these two outfits you like the best. All right, so thank you so much for helping us out with this fun collaboration challenge. As usual, I always appreciate a thumbs up, and please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. Have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye-bye.